I have a serious question. If Jalen Hurts starts to struggle, will Tua replace him at halftime? Welcome back to Brave Birds DFS, one of the best places for PGA, NFL, MLB, and NBA news, and of course, DFS. If you don't know by now, I'm Walt. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel. Why my channel? Well, for the NFL, I'm going to release five videos a week so I can help you submit the lineups you want so you can win that guap. So this is going to be a good game. We know the history at Alabama between Jalen Hurts and Tua. We know that both teams are really good right now. So the game is going to be in Philadelphia. The odds makers say it's going to be close and it's going to be interesting. And there are a few wrinkles that we will discuss. All right, the first thing I want to look at are the Philadelphia Eagles snap counts because if you're not on the field, you can't throw, catch, or run with the ball. All right, at running back, this is no doubt DeAndre Swift's team. I know when the season started, they talked about it being Gainwell's backfield, but this is Swift's team. If you want to get different with your lineups, you can try to put Gainwell in or Boston Scott. And I mean, the Eagles are the kind of offense where they can get that rogue touchdown. But in general, Swift is the one that's gobbling up all of the fantasy points. All right, wide receiver. It's going to be very interesting this week. So we know that A.J. Brown is the wide receiver one for this team. We know Devontae Smith is number two. You have Zaccheaus at number three. But what you don't see on this screen, and this is the difference in your lineups this week, is Julio Jones has been signed by the Eagles. We know Julio Jones was an awesome wide receiver during his time with the Falcons. He's a, he's a lot older now, but he's still got a little bit of that Julio Jones in him. So you're going to have to figure out. I don't think you can completely fade Julio Jones. Maybe if you're only doing one or two lineups, but I think if you're doing more than one or two lineups, you're going to have to figure out your exposure to Julio Jones. Because as we've seen in these showdown contests, the difference between winning and just breaking even is finding that player that's, you know, 2,000 or less that gets that one touchdown or that, you know, those, you know, four catches, you know, to get their PPR points. That is usually the player that decides these contests. At tight end, you have Dallas Goddard. He's been hot or cold this year. And that's just because there's only one football and a lot of playmakers on this team, but definitely someone that you should feel safe putting into your lineups. And then you have the backups at tight end. And, you know, I love backup tight ends. Maybe not for this game because there's so many, you know, playmakers. But in general, those third and fourth string wide receivers, i.e. Julio Jones, and those backup tight ends, a lot of times they get a rogue touchdown, random touchdown, broken play kind of situation. And they are the difference makers. All right. Let's look at the Dolphins. So the running back situation for the Dolphins is interesting. So Moster is definitely going to be the starter. But Jeff Wilson, who used to be the starter, is back. And his salary is $200. So if you think you need exposure to Julio Jones at $2,000, you're definitely going to need some exposure to Jeff Wilson at $200. And especially with all of the running back injuries we've seen this year, it could be a situation where Moster twists his ankle on the way out to the field. I mean, we've seen some crazy injuries and all of a sudden you have a $200 player in your lineup that gets 15 touches. So you're, I don't think, I don't think you can, you can fade, completely fade uh, Jeff Wilson. Now, it's his first game back, so I don't think you can put him in all your lineups, but it's something you're going to have to consider. At wide receiver, Tyree Kill's the best wide receiver in football. You want to argue with me about that? Put it in the comments. And then you have Jalen Waddle, who would probably be the number one wide receiver on most teams, but there's a guy named Tyree Kill. And then you have all these tertiary wide receivers, but you can see, you know, Berrios and Wilson are on the field at least 30% of the time so once again you know especially how they use trick plays with wilson i mean he is someone that could also you know bust this contest wide open and be the reason why you win this showdown contest then you have smite who's a really good tight end and then you have his backups and once again i've already said backup tight ends can be difference makers all right so i've made three lineups for you 
And the first lineup I made is the lineup. If I were just submitting one lineup to a single entry contest, this is the lineup I would submit. And I got specific with it because you submit, you should submit different lineups based on the number of entrants and the number, you know, whether it's single entry or multi entry. So if you're submitting a lineup to a small contest with just a single entry or a three max or something like that, where all of the sharks can't just put a billion lineups in against you, you have a different mindset. So, but if you're, you know, if you're submitting a lineup in this millionaire maker, 117,000 people and people are max multi entering, uh, it's, I mean, that's not saying that you can't win, but just know that those other players who are submitting five, 10, 15, 20 lineups, that means that's five, 10, 15, 20 thought processes entered versus your one, two or three. So with that being said, this lineup, I have Tyree Kill uh, in the captain spot. That's kind of a, a no brainer, I think, for most people. Uh, you can see why, you know, 30, 31 points, 35, 33 points, just an insane fantasy football player. And then you can see I have Jeff Wilson and Julio Jones. So you can save salary because once you put Tyree Kill in your captain spot, he messes up your salary cap. And then I have both Hurts and Tua. We saw that even in a bad game in real life, Jalen Hurts still got 22.9 fantasy points. And then we know if you're going to have, you know, Hill in the captain spot, it kind of makes sense to have Tua. You can be different and try to not have Tua in the flex, but I'm not trying to be that different because I'm already being different having Wilson and Jones in my lineup. And then I have Devontae Smith, which means that I am fading A.J. Brown because, I mean, beyond the fact that it's just too expensive, you're going to have to find a way to be different if you have Tyreek Hill in your captain spot. All right. This next lineup is the Eagles mud stomp lineup. This is the lineup where the Eagles, they're hyped because the Phillies are in the playoff. They're at home. And you know what? They just go out there and just have a game. So in this situation, you have Swift and you can see Swift has not had a bad game. 18, 16, 17, 17, 30. Um, and then you do put A.J. Brown in there as he stretches the field. And 23, 21, 41, 25, insane. And you have the Eagles defense, which a lot of people are going to be, even though they're a good defense, they're going to be a little weird because they're playing the Dolphins and the Dolphins are a good team. But you can see just in a vacuum, the Eagles have had a really good year. And then you have Elliott, who up until last week was having an amazing year. I still think he's probably the number one or number two kicker. But you can see his weeks up until last week was just a dud week for the entire team. And then I put in Waddle. So in this lineup, I am fading Hill. So anybody can be faded. We know injuries happen. We know that uh, players drop balls. So this lineup, I am fading Hill you are going to have to make some tough decisions in your lineups with so many expensive playmakers, but I do keep Hurts and I fade Tua. All right, so this next lineup is 4-2 towards the Dolphins. I just, I mean, I know it's possible, but I, I have a hard time seeing a 5-1, you know, Dolphins lineup. I hope I just didn't jinx the Eagles by saying that, but uh, here is my 4-2 lineup and I put Wilson in the captain spot. And I mean, I don't think that's super contrarian because these players are so expensive. I think a lot of people are going to uh, to do that. So if you put Wilson in the captain spot, no, you're not being just know that you're not being as different as you think. So uh, you're going to have to figure out some ways to get different or just accept the fact that if you win, you're going to be sharing that pot. All right. So this one, this allows me to have Tyreek Hill and A.J. Brown in my lineup and Hurts and Tua. And then I put the Miami kicker in there. But people hate not spending, you know, their salary. So if you want to get different, you know, maybe you put in Elliott, maybe you put in Gainwell, maybe you put in Dolphins, maybe you, you do something like this. Maybe you put in Berrios or something, or you put in Julio Jones, but just know Wilson in the captain spot with, you know, four, you know, big dogs and a punt. Uh, it's going to be popular. So you can make yourself different by picking a different punt. All right, so that's all I have for you today. Good luck tonight and win that guap. I really appreciate you watching my entire video. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell and I'll talk to you next time.